Hi, I'm Meg. And this is Garrett, and we're from OK Pop. We're here today at historic Kane's Ballroom in downtown Tulsa, Oklahoma. And we're about to get the scoop on some of Oklahoma's haunted history. OK, hey, it's Garrett. I'm here with Terry French, author of Tulsa's Haunted Memories. She also does Tulsa Spirit Tours, expert on all things related to the spirit world. and. Uh, Canes is amazing, huh? It's got all this history. It is. It's been around a very long time. Got some really spooky stories attached to it. Yeah. Would you mind uh, taking me around, and showing me some of the spots where this stuff has happened? <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Let's, let's go. do it. Okay, Terry. So we're here at the bar mm -hmm. in Bob's place, sort of the side stage here at yes. Canes. It's one of the main areas of spooky activity. It had been. So, <laughs> so what happened here? So right after the renovations, a young woman that was working behind this bar actually went to the end of the bar to throw something away, saw a woman standing here in a red ball gown, totally transparent, could see right through her. Spooky. It scared the girl so bad she up and quit that night, and I don't know what happened to the woman, I guess she just disappeared. <laughs> girl so bad she up and quit that night and I don't know what happened to the woman I guess she just disappeared. <laughs> Have you, ever, you Were you able to talk to the woman? For your I book? wanted to yeah I wanted to interview her for my book and find out because I wanted a description was she tall short whatever yeah. and uh, the woman still refuses to talk about it to this day yeah. it scared her so bad. Spooked. Okay Terry so we're here at the bar and I was reading in your book one of the things right after the renovations the first show they had here was Dwight Yoakam yes. um, and somebody walks up to the bar like a cowboy like a 50s looking cowboy and ask for some of that good old 10 cent popcorn. <laughs> Kane doesn't have that since the 1930s. Right. So, th so then what happens? So um, the guys turned around on the bar back, so I think they were kind of making fun of him because of his attire, mm. and turned around to, to tell him that they didn't have the 10 cent popcorn and the man had disappeared. Vanished. Vanished, never saw him again the rest of the night. Without a trace. Okay, so we're in front of the stage and you were telling me earlier somebody saw a janitor, I think, saw yeah, she told me that she was cleaning up after a show one night and she saw Bob Wills on the stage. She said he, he nodded in approval as if he, had, he was approving of the way she was cleaning the place. Mm, big fan of janitors, Bob yes. Wills was. <laughs> okay, Terry, that was awesome. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Uh, we're going to do sort of a part two now where Meg is going to uh, get with our friend Cindy, a spiritual medium, to kind of go back through these spots that you showed me and just kind of vibe out and see what happens. I'm excited. All this right. is cool. Yeah. Meg, take it away! Thanks, Garrett. I'm here actually right now to do the other half of this uh, really cool experience that we're having. I'm with Cindy K. Jones. Cindy is a, uh, a medium and she is also an animal communicator, which is yes. very cool. And this is Cindy's first time inside of Kane's Ballroom, which is it's rare when you find people around here who have not been in. So, Cindy, tell yeah. us a little bit about what you do. And, uh, and how you started it, and, and then we'll talk about canes. Okay, well, thanks for having me. Um, yes, I'm a spiritual medium and animal communicator. I work with people and pets in the physical and in the spirit world. Fantastic. So this is your first time in Kane's Ballroom. Yes. And what is, how are you feeling? What is the vibe in here to you? Uh, I feel very reverent to be in this, what, what I would call a very sacred space, very spiritual healing space and lots of impressions that I'm picking up at the moment. So I feel their energy, you know, the, the building's very much like a battery that holds energy. And I, I can feel the energy of the past and it plays like a projection wow. in, in, in front of me. So with all of that said, I mean, we've got a big old space here. Let's, uh, let's take a look around and see what we can find out. Okay, let's okay. do it. Okay, so what I would um, just try to explain what I'm experiencing at the moment, but it feels very much as though there's been some sort of ceremony here, either a wedding, something like that, because it feels so church-like right here. And there, yes, there's a star right there. So <laughs> it, it very much feels here very sacred and, and um, just an immense amount of energy coming to me on the side. And uh, either a proposal here, some sort of, of uh, vows have been said here that feel very, very special. There's so. been a few, uh, actually, vows that have been said within Kane's Ballroom. I actually was in a wedding here myself, ah. uh, and uh, there's been a million proposals, so I could totally see how yeah. you could feel and that. Perfect. For, uh, right here, under right the here, star. Right here, under the star, okay. yeah. But I want to go back into this uh, dressing room here. Okay. If we can. What I really feel in here is a lot of nervousness, and uh, again, um, 
particularly drawn to that corner right there. And I would say at one point, there must have been some sort of flood in here because it just feels so water-like to me. It's almost like the room just wants to fill up with water. So I'm just curious about the history of this room. If there's been a flood, or if there's been some sort of uh, drainage issues that they've had in the past. And the room really just holds so much memory for me of nerves and trying to gain my confidence to go out there and really put on this show. So Cindy, this is a legendary space. This is hollowed ground for artists who've played here. Um, pretty much everybody you can ever think of that you've loved musically has probably touched this stage. How are you feeling right now being up here? What is it, what is the vibe? I feel a female artist. I feel the history of the female artists really being part of this venue. I feel the male artists too, but I'm particularly aware of Fringe that I'm wearing. Okay. So I, I do feel, I feel like I'm a honky tonk girl. I feel like I want to play that honky tonk music. When you're blue and all alone. I think it's it's amazing, you know, that I'm experiencing that, but that, you know, there's the legendary women that have played here too in Oklahoma on this stage. All right, so as I um, am walking back here on the floor, again, really when I'm out here, I'm I'm aware of the people that would come to take part in the show mm -hmm. and really be excited to be here. Woohoo! out here it's as if I want to dance if I want to just have fun yeah and I want to fall in love I, I do pick up the the sense of male energy here okay and I can feel um, gentlemen that does step forward uh, but to, in, in like again it, it plays like a projection in front of me but it's so much as if um, he is not from our time it feels very much I would say uh, early, I would say in the 30s, okay. the, the, the 1930s, and just a sense of either being a proprietor of the bar, owner of the building, but there's such a sense of when he walks in that he walks in with a command. And again, he wears a top hat, he feels very, uh, very put together in his uh, attire. So he just hasn't fallen out of bed. He's pulled himself together with fine clothes. Interesting. And it feels like he slides a beard down the bar and wants to serve me. Also, another woman steps in here, and I would put her in, I would have to say she's much older than him. I would put her uh, right at about, I would have to say in her late 70s. This and she likes cool. purple, I would say that. You she know? likes the color purple? Yeah, very much. Okay. I, can, I can see that that dress is purple, it's quite grand. Um, um, and rose, roses, or rose, I can hear that as well. So okay. either that is a type of wine that she would have drank, or it could be a name, but uh, it's more of a sense that she's welcoming. So with me, I, I feel very welcomed by her. Okay. And I would say, and she says hello to you as well, and you, I don't know if you know her or not, or if you've had experience with her, but she's very much, uh, feels like she's a regular here. How funny, so. well, I've also been a regular around here myself, so. <laughs> she probably does uh, know this space. Well, Cindy, thank you so much for being with us today and coming out to Kane's Ballroom to play and and uh, and just confirm, I think, for all of us, like just how special this place really, really is. So uh, I'm going to go find Garrett, and I think we're going to wrap this thing up. All right, so we're backstage now at Kane's. Cool spot back here. Not a lot of people get to see this, where the artists hang out right before yeah, they go Yeah, this is where stage. the real magic at Kane's Ballroom <laughs> happens. Um, but that was really cool. Were you spooked out? Uh, I, you know what, I was a little spooked out before we did this, and I actually feel a little bit like less spooked out now. Huh. I'm sort of generally spooked, like I just run spooked, spooky, you know? You just so run I'm just high, still just with, right there. with terror all the time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've noticed that about you. Um, you know what, special thanks to our guests today. Cindy, our medium friend. Yes. Terry, our historian. Um, we'll have both of their information, their, their details for you folks on the screen and so and we're please, also going to be talking to him i think uh podcast very and, soon yeah. yeah doing lots of cool stuff oh uh, we got to get back in touch with him. lots of spooky stuff to investigate man. there are so many things we have an entire um vault over at okay pop that i'm sure has oh, all we need kinds to bring of in there. That'd be good, good vibes all right uh yeah well i tell you what garrett let's get out of here before we become permanent fixtures of Kane's Ballroom. good call let's do it goodbye <laughs> <laughs>